Hey, what's going on guys? This is Push to Insanity and what you guys are watching today is another free 3D intro template tutorial. So go ahead and open up the download file and you guys will notice that you're provided with the background.mp4 file. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you guys will notice that I give this for pretty much all my templates. And what this file is, it's pretty much the background in all my templates. So if you guys don't have those plugins that were used to create this background effect, you guys can still have a full complete intro template. So that's pretty helpful. So now go ahead and open up the Cinema 40 folder and open up the Cinema 40 file, which is your first part of your template. Now you guys will notice that you guys are given a bunch of materials at the bottom of the screen. So if you guys don't like the current colors of the template, you guys can change the color to whatever you want. You can do that by simply dragging the material and dragging to where um, the current uh, materials are applied, which are at the top right corner of the screen. So once you guys are finished editing the colors of your intro, go ahead and change your mo text. To edit your text, select both mode text objects to edit your first text and you guys can also change the font and size of the text and do the same thing with your bottom text. Once you guys have finished editing your text, go to your render settings and save your intro to your own desktop or folder and you guys can render out your Cinema 40 part of the intro. Once you guys have finished rendering your Cinema 40 part of the intro, open up your After Effects file. You'll notice that you're missing one file which is the actual intro template render so in order to fix this just go and right click your uh, missing file and replace the footage with what you guys rendered in cinema 4d So if you guys rendered this intro, you would have done it in a PNG sequence. So open up the first picture, which should be the PNG file with four zeros, and make sure that PNG sequence is selected. And if you guys already have the plugins that were used to create this background, you'll notice that the background will automatically appear. However, if you guys don't have the plugins, you guys will not have this background effect. So if you guys want to get this background effect and you guys don't have the plugin, all you guys got to do is import the file that I've given you in the download, which is background.mp4, and simply drag it under your intro to get that background effect. And once you guys are finished with that, go to composition and add your composition to the render queue and you guys can render your intro.